Welcome to our Kafka Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a question that many newcomers to Kafka often ponder. Our viewer is curious about the differences between the Consumer API and the Streams API. They ask, what is the difference between Consumer and Stream? If any tool or application that consumes messages from Kafka is a consumer, how is the Streams API different? And why do we need it when we can create our own consumer applications using the Consumer API? Let's break this down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the difference between the Consumer API and the Streams API in Kafka. The Consumer API is a low-level interface that allows applications to read messages from Kafka topics. In contrast, the Streams API is a higher level abstraction that not only consumes messages, but also allows for real-time processing and transformation of those messages. Now, you might wonder why we need the Streams API if we can create our own consumer applications using the Consumer API. The answer lies in the ease of use and built-in functionalities of the Streams API. For example, with the Streams API, you can easily perform operations like filtering, mapping, and aggregating data without writing extensive boilerplate code. In summary, while both APIs consume messages from Kafka, the Consumer API is more manual and low-level, whereas the Streams API provides a powerful framework for processing data in real time, making it easier to build complex applications. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. The Kafka Streams API builds on the consumer and producer APIs, making it easier for tasks that involve reading from a topic, processing data, and writing back to a topic. However, the producer and consumer APIs offer more control which can be beneficial in certain scenarios that streams may not accommodate. For instance, streams automatically handles transaction commits, meaning you can't control when to commit. In contrast, the consumer and producer APIs allow you to manage this timing. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Yeah.